Hello again. Well, it was only a week or so ago that I first brought you this, which is the billet parts uh, desiccant cap for sort of the, you know the closed cell type telescopes. Well, Wayne Whedon from Billet Parts, I don't think he sleeps um, because I've just got a whole host of other stuff now that he started doing that I'm, I'm going to show to you. The first thing is there's now a 1.25 version of the desiccant cap. Again, it's like the, the two inch that I showed previously. You get the, the PVC cap to seal it and it has a rubber O-ring fitted in here to seal it to the scope it's just basically the 1.25 version and of course you get a uh, baby sized silica packs to put in there before fitting that into your telescope uh, now these are made out of a product called delrin it's sort of a, an, an, an engineering type plastic if you like it's not you know it's not the your standard type of plastic um, it's a type of plastic that goes in layers and can be turned and engineered it's just an engineering plastic now, if you're not happy with plastic, then, okay, we've also got a metal one. Now, this is in alloy, and it's anodized. So, we've got the cap part that's in a black anodized, and the top is in a silver anodized finish. Again, it comes with the PVC cap and the rubber O-rings there, and you get, again, the, uh, the baby-sized silica gels in it. Uh, just you know, if you if you want to be a, a little bit more blingy, if you like, with um, your telescope attachments, and they just work in exactly the same way as I explained, like I said in the in the two inch version. Um, now these are for price, this one, the plastic one, is going to sell for approximately twelve pounds ninety nine, and the metal one for nineteen pounds ninety nine. Now also there is going to be in the very near future a metal two inch one but I haven't been informed of any pricing on that one just yet. Uh, it doesn't stop there. Like I said he's been a busy lad. Um, we've also got this which is a Mark II version of the LifeCam Cinema adapter. Um, the, the Microsoft LifeCam Cinema camera webcam is actually quite good for, for astro use and this is an adapter to, to convert one for your telescope. Uh, there are other websites that will show you how to actually strip one down to, to this sort of state where you've got the, the chip exposed there and everything. And basically there's an O-ring and you just slot in an O-ring and slot the camera into the adapter like so. And then take the USB side and just thread it through this cap feeding it down the cable now the o-ring can go at the front or back it's that same material it's just basically a way to to secure the camera inside the adapter so the camera slots in with the o-ring and you tighten up the back like so and now we have a Microsoft Life Cam Cinema that's made for, to fit in your telescope. As I said, this is the Mark II version. There was a Mark I version before that. It doesn't stop there. I've actually got a list here in front of me on a, on a sticker. So if you if you sort of see me keep going like this, it's to get more information. I, we can't afford teleprompters here. Um, he's also making these. Now these are a 1.25 cap uh, and the the threaded with the same as a filter thread so if you've got uh, a piece of equipment like a, a webcam and you've got a filter on there you can actually screw these on to seal it up uh, you know it works on eyepieces as well if you've got eyepieces with the um, with 1.25 and you can fit these on these are also available in a 2 inch so you can get them in the 1.25 and the 2 inch and it doesn't stop there because he's also producing these which are in a t2 size so if you've got uh, your camera spacings or everything uh, i personally i like to sort of keep my camera with the spacers on and, and try and just keep it sealed up when it's not on my telescope so these are quite handy for that and they're also available in a male and a female in in t thread so you know i mean obviously the two will screw together there uh, so like i said male and female in t thread uh, those are also going to be available in M48, uh, so that if you've got a, a, a refractor with the, the M48 type adapter on the back, um, on the, the um, what do they call it, the, uh, the corrector, 
if you've got the corrector on the back of a of a, of a refractor that's the m48 thread you, there's caps available in male and female for that they're available in sct thread uh, in male and female and they're available in c and ccs which is uh some people may not have seen those it's 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 a camera thread it's often used on um security cameras and such like and it's it's just another type of, of thread that is a, is on some cameras so again there are there are male and female caps available in that thread as well so like i said he's uh he's been quite a busy lad and uh you know all the best to him and uh the prices are just absolutely brilliant and again i will put the billet parts url up on the on the bottom of this video so that you can have a look for yourself at the the wide array of stocks and i've no doubt if you email him you'll get an answer within five minutes because i just don't think he sleeps and that's it for this one so once again thanks for watching